Welcome to the Windows Club. If you wish to fix Windows Update Error 0x80071 1A91, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or watch this video. I would guide you through the resolution. The first solution is to reset the FSRM service, and this can be done either through the service manager or the elevated command prompt window the latter being the easier method to so search for command prompt in the window search bar and click on run as administrator to open the elevated command prompt window now copy paste this command from the article to the elevated command prompt window and hit enter once you receive the message the operation completed successfully consider the fsrm service restarted the second solution is to disable any third party antivirus software because such software products are known to blacklist genuine windows updates to isolate the probability of such interference it would be advisable to disable such third party antivirus software products at least temporarily the third solution is to reset windows update components which has been explained in a separate article and a separate video which you could check here the fourth solution would be to delete common log file system clfs transaction logs and it's simple simply copy these commands either one by one or all together and paste it to the elevated command prompt window hit enter that's it next if these steps fail then you can consider running the windows update troubleshooter click on the start button select settings go to update and security go to the troubleshoot tab select additional troubleshooters go to windows update Click on run the troubleshooter to run the windows update troubleshooter. Lastly, you can restart the windows update services for example the background intelligence transfer service, the cryptographic service, the windows update service. Press the windows key and the R button and type the command services.msc and hit enter. Now. Scroll down to the service, for example the background intelligence transfer service, right click on it and select restart. This will start restarting the associated service. Isn't this easy? If you still have any doubts, please go to the original article on the windows club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query, we will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.